Survival Difficulty Class Zero Safe Secure Devoid of hostile entities The Manila Room is a small room that can rarely be found in Level Zero and often acts as a safe point where wanderers meet when traveling through the level. Description. The Manila Room is an isolated square room with thick walls within Level Zero, named for the unique beige color of its wallpaper. It has minimal furnishings, which vary slightly between appearances, usually no more than a table and a chair, as well as anywhere from one to four entrances. The Manila Room is commonly used as a meeting point for wanderers, as despite the changing and isolating nature of Level Zero, the Manila Room will always appear in the same location for everyone when discovered, and does not have the same effect as Level Zero, which prevents wanderers from meeting. This leads to wanderers appearing to fade into existence upon entering. Care should be taken to avoid entering from the same entrance at the same time. Anomalies The lighting in the Manila Room is nearly identical to that of Level Zero, and produces the same irritating noise. The brightness of these lights, however, varies greatly and is known to fluctuate over time, causing occasional periods of total darkness. Standard entities have never been observed in the Manila Room, however, knocking and banging noises have been reported coming from within the walls, leading some to believe one or more entities may be present within them. These noises are reportedly loudest during periods when the lights are off. Documentation. The Manila Room is used to store MEG documentation that explains the back rooms and provides essential information to new wanderers, of which roughly 36% reported that the documentation had been essential in escaping Level Zero. All documentation is stored in folders stamped with the MEG insignia and placed on the table if it is present, though these documents do occasionally disappear with the normal changes to the room, requiring that they be replaced when reported missing. Documents stored here cover a variety of topics, most notably no clipping, a field guide to the most common and dangerous entities, and a guide to important levels. A sample document can be viewed below. Notable Levels of the Back Rooms Document 3 out of 7 Level 0 This is the level you are currently within. A unique property of this level is its isolating effect that prevents any two wanderers from seeing or interacting with each other even when standing in what should be the same location, as well as its shifting, non-Euclidean nature. No clipping, as described earlier, is the only safe, documented way to exit this level. Level 1 Reaching this level should be your next goal. Our primary base, which is one of the safest locations for you, is located here. Level 1 takes the appearance of an infinite warehouse stocked with crates full of supplies. Level 2 Level 2 is more dangerous than the previous two levels, and has much tighter spaces to traverse. It takes the form of a labyrinth of maintenance tunnels and piping, often maintaining an uncomfortably hot temperature. The safest place in Level 2 is a settlement known as Office Space EL-3A. Level 3 This level is exceptionally dangerous, often the most perilous level one encounters before settling down in a community somewhere safer. Level 3 takes the form of an electrical station with many machines and barred-off areas. Its halls often have no working lights, and many entities lurk within them. It is heavily contested for its valuable resources and location close to safer levels such as Level 4. Many of the factions contesting it are hostile to the MEG and to you. Level 4 Level 4 is one of the safest and most inhabited levels of the back rooms, having the form of an endless abandoned office. It has a plentiful supply of almond water, and relatively few hostile entities. It is a popular place for people to rest and take refuge, or settle down and live permanently in. Level Fun Level Fun, despite its name, is one of the most dangerous levels encountered by the MEG. It is the home level of the partygoers and takes the form of an endless complex of rooms full of party decorations. The entities inhabiting the level, discussed previously, are incredibly dangerous and are known to vandalize the database to fool wonders into approaching them. Entrances to this level are often surrounded by confetti and party favors, and can thus be identified and avoided. The End
This level is often described as a trap. It initially appears as an empty library, with computer terminals and a sign in large letters that states, The End is Near. This level creates fake realities intended to trick you into believing you have left the back rooms, which only keeps you still and makes it easier for the entities that wander the level, namely partygoers, to find you. The exits to this level are undocumented. If you choose to leave the main area, keep moving and search for an exit. 